Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of the Creative Champion Contest and we're going to create for you five spring DIYs. I'm going to talk about this a little bit later, but let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this first project, I'm taking this wreath that I got from Target Dollar Spot for $3. And if you don't have this, I want to recreate it. You can certainly take some wire and attach to any frame that you have. Then I'm going to take this uh, craft paper a roll that I got from a dollar store, Dollar Tree, and I cut out uh, just a little piece. I'm going to uh, roll the bottom and the top, and I'm going to just secure it with a little bit of hot glue on the edges and a little bit in the middle. Next, I'm taking the, the stencil that came from a Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 and in the package, there is two different kind of stencils. I'm going to be using uh, this one that says Hello Spring. And then I'm going to just cut out the bottom part, just the words. And then I will transfer them onto my uh, craft paper. I just use my fingers to transfer them. I didn't want to use transfer tape because it might get stuck onto the craft paper. I am, um, after that, just pressing them down gently, making sure they stay in place. And then I am um, going to see where I want to position uh, this onto my wreath. I'm taking off this leather um, hang piece and then I'm uh, threading some jute twine through the uh, top part uh, of this craft paper and also threading through the that loop on the top of the uh, wire frame. And then I'm just tying a knot. And then on the bottom of this uh, craft paper, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place onto this um, wreath form. And then I'm taking these wildflowers from the Dollar Tree as well as these other flowers. I'm not sure <laughs> what they're called. And then I will just um, use the greenery off of them. I will take a green uh, jute twine and I will... Uh, secure them together and then also secure them to the bottom of the wreath. I didn't want to hot glue this part because I want to make sure, you know, I wanted to be able to take it off. And then I'm taking white flour and hot gluing it in the middle. And that's it for this first project. I really, really love this project. It is so, so beautiful, very simple, yet a little bit rustic, but modern. And it is so springy and I really, really love how high end this look and it cost me so little to make. I want to hear from you. What do you think about this one? Okay, friends, Creative Champion Contest is finally here. In March, you will be seeing videos every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And at this particular Friday, there is 10 contestants in total, so nine beside me. And we are all created for you five. Um, each of us created five spring DIYs. I'm sure you guys are going to see so many great projects and this is going to be hop. So after watching this video, go ahead in the uh, description box of my video and you will find the link to the next person in the hop. And then um, you go on and on until you come back to my video. Also in my description box, you will find a link to Heidi's video where you can see 10 projects one from each contestant those are our best projects and you can also find a link where you can go ahead and vote for your favorite project i hope it's my project that you like the most and i hope you vote for me diy number two is actually the project that i sent over to heidi's uh, video and you're going to see the full tutorial if you go and click on her video and I just want to show you the final product over here. I absolutely love how this turned out. This is definitely the favorite one out of these five. And I hope you will like it as well. And like I said, hope you will vote for me.
If you're new to my channel, if you're coming from this contest, I want to welcome you. My name is Yelena. I am a stay-at-home mom of two kids who absolutely love crafting and doing DIY projects. And everything that I do is on a budget in a rustic and farmhouse style mostly. And if something like that interests you, please come along and um, watch my other videos. And hopefully you like them enough to subscribe. DIY and number three. For this project, I'm going to be using this frame that came from the canvas from the Dollar Tree. I already previously used it, so um, it was painted with uh, some Waverly chalk paint uh, in a color celery. So what I'm going to do now is to take Waverly chalk paint in a color truffle and just distress it um, all the way around. Next, I'm taking these Django blocks from the Dollar Tree. I took eight of them, so two of the ones at the end, and you see that I marked where I'm gonna cut it with my miter saw. And after cutting it, I am just sanding it um, just a little bit. And next, I'm taking this antique wax by Waverly and give it in one coat. I'm gonna leave uh, this to dry. And while this is drying, I'm going to uh, take a um, cereal box cardboard, that's what I had at home, and I cut out uh, three pieces. I wanted them to be pretty sturdy, and then I'm giving, and I hot glue them together. Then I'm giving it a one coat of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color. Next, I'm taking my Django blocks and I'm uh, hot gluing them together in a row like so. After that, I am um, taking my cardboard, it's dry now, and I am hot gluing it on the back of this frame. When that was done, I wanted to attach my Django blocks, but I didn't like the difference in the color. So what I did, I added this celery color by Waverly, and then after that, I distressed it with the um, truffle by Waverly uh, chalk paint. So it looked the same like frame. Now I was able to hot glue it in a place like I'm showing over here. So one uh, under another. Then I'm taking these uh, craft sticks. I believe they came from Walmart. They're medium sized. And then I'm going to cut off the edges first. And then I'm going to probably uh, get around an inch. And then I will cut many square pieces. So I have, I think, um, 12 of them. And then I uh, send them off a little bit. And then I'm using the stickers from the Dollar Tree to uh, put them on each of these uh, mini squares. What I'm writing over here is spring is here. So these will represent those mini um, Scrabble um, pieces that I didn't have. So I created my own. Now I'm taking uh, these uh, lavender picks that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm putting them on a the left uh, top corner of my frame that I'm taking white and um, natural color dew twine and I'm just creating very uh, little bow and I'm putting it on uh, under those flowers. Then I'm just gonna spread out my letters, put them on those um, mini shelves and this is it. So you can uh, put uh, the words anywhere you want. You can spread them out in two or three of those mini shelves that I created any way you want. Um, I'm going to show you over here two different ways. I absolutely love this project. I thought it was so easy to make. These go on for a lot of money and I was able to create them for as little as two dollars. So I really hope you like this project. If you're on a social media, I would like for you to look for me. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Come say hi to me. I would love to get to know you. Also, my regular upload times are Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Unless I'm participating in a collaboration or challenge, I will let you know in advance. DIY number four. For this project, I'm going to be using this cute basket, Easter basket from the Dollar Tree. First thing I'm going to do is just cut off the tag and take off this wrapping <laughs> that uh, came in. It was very easy to do. It wasn't glued. It was just wrapped around and I was able to take off the eggs as well. First, I'm going to take two of the eggs and I'm going to... Uh, 
paint one with the Waverly chalk paint in a color ivory and the other one I will color with the celery color. I'm gonna leave this to dry and while this is drying I'm gonna take uh, this rope that came from Hobby Lobby. It was very inexpensive and I use it for such a long time so it is definitely worth it. I am um, starting at the bottom. I put a little dab of a hot glue on one side and then I'm just putting a hot glue here and there and I'm just wrapping it around. I wanted to make sure that this rope lays flat because it is kind of a flat, it's not round. So I didn't want uh, it to get twisted. So like I said, I'm just putting a hot glue wherever I think it's necessary. I didn't put it on every single um, piece. And then when I come all the way to the top, over here, I did put a little more hot glue and then uh, I was also making sure that I'm going inwards a little bit um, of this basket because I wanted it to look more, um, you know, nicer and more finished. Next, I was just wrapping this around this handle, again, making sure the um, rope stays flat and nice. When I was done with the handle, I added a little uh, more of the rope, so one or two more rows uh, towards the inside of the basket. There were a little pieces of plastic left where the uh, eggs were uh, previously, and that helped me to uh, keep it in place. I used the hot glue and it was perfect. So this is how it uh, turned out. I think it was so cute. I like that the bottom uh, plastic, gray plastic was still visible. That's kind of a base of it. So now I put the little uh, grocery bag on the bottom or actually inside of it and I'm putting some um, wildflowers from the Dollar Tree and then I'm uh, taking um, some picks that I put my eggs on and, and I'm, then I'm adding my eggs as well. Next I'm taking this um, burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm taking a little piece and then I'm just uh, taking out the wires from the um, sides and then I am just uh, folding it and pinching it in the middle. Then uh, when I was happy with the way it looks like, I'm just adding a little dab of hot glue to keep it in place and a little bit of jute twine to wrap it in the middle and that's gonna be my bow that I'm gonna hot glue on the front of this um, cute little basket. I think it's so adorable. My daughter is in love with it. She couldn't wait for me to finish <laughs> this filming so she can play with it. She's just saying, I'm going to the picnic. Look, mommy, it is so cute. I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable and it looks way better than way it started. That's my opinion. Tell me what you uh, think of this project. The last project, DIY number five. For this project, I'm gonna be using these wood beads in a different sizes that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, of course, used my coupons, so it turned out to be around um, less than $6. So I put them in a um, pattern, you can see over here. So uh, two of them that are around the bigger one, I will be painting with two different colors. At first, I thought I'm gonna use ivory and celery, chalk paint by Waverly, but I already turned out to be exactly the same color as them. So I decided to use uh, this uh, mineral color for one and like I said, celery for the other one. And then I uh, put them all on a jute twine and this is how they uh, looked like. Next, I am taking the same jute twine, wrapping it around my sanding block and I'm creating a tassel. I'm sure you most of you know how to create tassel. If not, you can look at this one or some other tutorials. I've been doing it so long and you can see in many of my tutorials. I am attaching it to my garland or bead garland and then I am just wrapping it around making sure everything looks nice and neat. And then I'm using um, hot glue just to attach it in place. 
and then I'm cutting off the excess and that's how it looks like. I did the same thing on the other side so both of the sides have tassels. So this is just how it turned out. I love it the way it is but since this is springtime uh, DIY I decided to use these wild flower, wild flowers from the Dollar Tree and I took just the flowers out and I'm going to hot glue them in between two um, beads that I did not paint. So I spread them out, just hot glue them in between, and I am absolutely in love with this one. I think it looks so beautiful, so springy, and I really like the natural tones of this one. It is just totally me. I absolutely love it, and I really want to hear what you guys think about this one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it. It means so much to me and helps my channel and my video. Also, if you're new to this channel, I would like for you to uh, stick around and subscribe. Make sure to click a notification bell on to all. Uh, that way you will not miss out on any of my videos. Tell me which one of this was your favorite. And like I said earlier, make sure to check out the link in my description box for the next person in a hop. And also stop by Heidi's channel to see um, the video and also to vote. Hopefully you will vote for me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.